Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Design Tool Tuesday. And as you know, Design Tool Tuesdays is very quick and snappy, or at least I try to do it so. A session about design tools and the best tools out there. Things what I like to share with, let's say, my peers, or my junior designers, people I work with, and people I want to, let's say, share better methods and, and better uh, toolkit to do the job we do. And so today we're going to talk about a framework for sketch and if you're a sketch designer working with let's say ux or product design this is exactly for you even if you let's say do some sort of customer experience or service design on the side this also are gonna answer all of your needs it's basically a framework and design system for sketch where you can build user flows as well as sitemaps anything to do with information architecture or flows in general and so let me exactly talk you through it and as you can see on my screen i have this simple demo immediately you can see that everything here is editable and everything here is based on sketch components and i'm gonna show you the best bit and why i like it so much because i just recently discovered it it's made by sidecar and sidecar is basically almost like a platform a community where designers are producing templates and assets for other designers to use this is one of them the good thing about it is the simplicity the good thing about it is the flexibility for you to make sitemaps and user flows. And off the bat, as you can see, you're gonna end up with a sketch file, which is gonna define exactly what you can do about it. I like that they made a quick distinction of what is what here and how they made this very simplistic design system. It's quite scalable, it's very rudimentary, but it still does what it's supposed to. But as you can see, you can work with arrows and arrows are flexible. That's the best bit. So you can kind of like in Miro, let's say, or form a real time board, you can connect one object with the other and make it flexible and drag it across. It also works to an extent here and you have a lot of options to choose from. And I'm gonna go into that really quickly. You can also add annotations and you know more of like for let's say service blueprints or even like a requirement guarantee for BAs you know they would benefit from this type of actions decision making processes and then you can also customize it so as you can see if we dive to next one the symbols you're gonna see that there is a whole plethora of different bits here and there's a lot of pages. You can also change the colors. It's all styled. It's all automated as much as you can in Sketch right now, but you can have states, you can have grays. I like to keep my sitemaps and flows, you know, as little colored as possible or black and white monochrome because that's most makes, mo makes most sense. You can also edit how you want your lines to be solid or dotted, pages, uh, text, you could, you know, edit the fonts of what your client is like, or let's say your own brand is like, so you can follow through and update based on that. But right off the bat, you can literally just copy paste this and hack it. And that's what I like to do. It's really up to you how you want to do this, but I'm going to, you know, just to demonstrate how I would use it, I'm going to take uh, because I can't really share, you know, my client stuff. I'm going to take my blog, let's say, the existing website and maybe even a portfolio and show you the information architecture there and try to, you know, kind of like squeeze most of it. I'm going to open my blog really quickly and just go ham trying to showcase some of the bits you can do of it. So let's say right off the bat, as you can see, I'm going to have main navigation, which is home. I'm going to use the logo for that. I'm going to have stories. I'm going to have learning. That should be good enough. I mean, it's all by eye. It's not specific, but then you can make secondary navigation and, you know, use that as a communication tool, basically. And so here immediately, if I would, let's say, take that arrow, I can go to my, you know, definition of the bits like this arrow. And I can select exactly which arrow I want to because it's all quite nicely nested. So I can just do solid. I can do the bent one. And I think what I'm really looking for is something like that, like this one. And as you can see, it immediately updated. So it's quite flexible because of the snappy guidelines in Sketch. It's really easy to snap in and then simply, let's say, drag it down to my page 
and maybe just adjust the page so it matches like so. Boom! And now I created a connection in the sitemap. That's pretty neat. I can then replicate all these different bits as well for pages. And as you can see, everything here is quite stretchable, so I can just really quickly adjust those arrows like so. And boom, I have a very basic sitemap on a very, you know, one leveled approach. Let's see stories, I could just even then go and change what do I want the content to be like in it. List per sidebar, that's perfect. That's exactly what it is. Learning is also perfect. Reading list sort of matches. Speaking is not there yet. It's something like that. About is something like that, let's say. Boom, so it kind of represents the bits, but as you can see how quick that is. And now in stories, I could go down and just make pages per category because my blog is basically has categories. And then just select exactly which arrow I'm looking for and I'm immediately can see down left and just adjust to the center. And I love the snappiness of it. As you can see, it's so quick to just adjust it. Can then make a copy of it in, I can invert it immediately like so, boom. All I would need to do is just adjust my pages basically to match this layout, but it's so easy. And so I have my simpler information architecture defined in the sitemap for my blog, let's say. Again, I could go deeper and you know do some other bits. For example, all those different bits you saw about the decision making, if it's true or false. And so let's say if I go to all the bits, I can immediately add this collection of different bits. As you can see, there are so many pages, even icons defined, everything you might need, as well as arrows, you can go to annotations like answers, like labels, let's say, brackets, which you saw in in the up above, you can add an arrow, you can add a flow chart where let's say the decision has to be made. Like for example, so and so you get the drill of what you can do with it, you can do a lot. And it's very simple, very flexible, it's definitely worth those 30 bucks. And by no means I'm affiliated with the tool, I just think it's a great tool. And it saves me so much time crafting all of these bits from scratch. And to be entirely honest, I like to fiddle but I rather fiddle on the UI on the actual visual mockups instead of fiddling on the UX deliverables like let's say sitemaps and flows because to be entirely honest, people don't really care about look and feel at that point, we care about the look and feel of a solution. And so if this looks amazing, which it does, it ticks both boxes at the same time. Again, check it out madebysidecar.com. They have a lot of different templates. Again, I'm not affiliated by any means, but I think it's a good one to try and you know it's definitely worth the money so if you like this video give a like share with a friend leave a comment down below what you think about it subscribe to this channel by the way if you haven't done so and on that note i'll see you next time